Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with a Reddit story for you from AITAH, and it's titled, Am I the Askinoff for Locking My Girlfriend Out of the Basement So I Could Eat in Peace? All right, here we go. I am 39 and male. My girlfriend is 41. We have lived together for a bit over a year in my house. During the time that I have lived with my girlfriend, I've become very used to the fact that she really seems to de-stress by complaining. Much of this complaining is about other people in her life, such as her mother and her former co-workers, but much of this complaining is about me and how I'm not meeting her expectations in one way or another. I'm generally fine listening to her rant and will make all the appropriate motions to show that I'm listening, but a few months back, her complaining increased significantly in frequency. Again, I'm happy to listen to her, but one time that I did not want to listen to complaining is when I'm eating. Breakfast time isn't an issue because she's still asleep when I eat, and lunchtime is fine because I work six days a week and I'm out for lunch, but I would really love nothing more than to just have a quiet dinner. It's especially irritating because she gets upset when I don't answer her fast enough. Even when I'm chewing, she'll start saying, hello, 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 are you even listening? As I try to swallow the food quickly and answer her. I, I'm going to go ahead and red flag that one for you, sir. I expressed this to her a few months back. I put it as nicely as possible with the excuse that I don't do well with talking during mealtime. If anything, it has had the opposite effect. I'm convinced that she's actually timing her complaints to begin when I start eating dinner now. Could be because you're a captive audience during that time. While I'm making my dinner, she'll be quiet. And when I sit down waiting for it to cool, she'll be quiet. But once the fork reaches my mouth, she'll immediately start complaining. Last Saturday, I told her that I couldn't deal with her complaining during dinner time anymore. And if she did it again, I would start eating elsewhere. She responded, yeah, okay, fine. And then she sat down at the table and stared at me. When I took my first bite, she said, oh, by the way, today you kicked one of my shoes when you were putting yours on. It made me feel like you only care about your own things and not mine. I stood up and went down to the basement to eat, locking the door behind me. Hold up. The complaint was you kicked one of my shoes when you were putting your shoes on and it made me feel like you only care about your own things and not mine. How dare you kick her unoccupied shoe? Like, how dare you? You should have known that this this would be taken personally here, right? I've taken to doing this for every day since, and she'll bang on the door at times. At other times, she has demanded I give her a key as I have the only copy. Why would I give you a key if I'm intentionally locking you out? Today, she was literally crying and begging me to eat dinner at the table, but I said no. Now she's threatening to take the door off its hinges while I'm at work. So now... I have to lock it from the outside before going tomorrow. Am I in the wrong here? Uh, no. Well, yes and no. No, uh, but she is literally unhinged to the point where she's trying to take the door off the hinges so she can get to you. The door that's like not malfunctioning, you have intentionally locked it to provide some kind of separation, to provide some kind of buffer so that you're not verbally attacked every time a fork reaches your mouth. But also, why the f are you doing this instead of dissolving this relationship? Because this is toxic. This, this relationship sounds a little bit doomed. What I'm really confused about why you guys are together. My name isn't Abella says, why can't people just communicate? Everybody sucks here. So the, 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 the potential ESH for me in this is dealing with it like this instead of, instead of just being like, look, either you respect my boundary. And you know what he did? He did create a boundary. And he said, if you can't respect this boundary, I'm going to eat somewhere else. And she said, yeah, okay, fine. And then didn't respect the boundary. So we ate somewhere else. My issue is that Eating somewhere else isn't solving the problem, which is evidenced by her willingness to unhinge the door. She clearly needs someone to listen to her. She needs to vent. And being 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 willing to listen to her vent is one thing. Having like a, this is my sacred time. Please don't do this during this time. She doesn't respect you. This is the problem. She does not respect you at all. And even after you created boundaries, she stomped all over those too. And you did say it was your house. So again, I ask, why are you guys together? What is happening here? What is happening here? If it is truly the situation that he's talking about here, he's not just NTA. In my book, for following through, and it wouldn't have mattered. Look, if, if he said, look, I'm just going to go eat at a restaurant instead of eating here because you can't respect 
this sacred time, would it be different then? Would, would people who say ESH right now view it differently? He did communicate this. She can't respect the one thing, and it doesn't even matter what it is. If your partner puts up a boundary and says, hey, this time is sacred to me, please don't please don't trample all over it, and then they trample all over it. It doesn't matter what the conditions are. It doesn't matter what the what the, the punishment side of that boundary was. The boundary wasn't respected. Now, if you are in some kind of situation where nobody respects, you're not respecting each other's boundaries, that's a different kind of situation. But with what we have to deal with here, I'm an NTA with this guy. Uh, you, you created a boundary and you reinforced it. She stomped all over it. I'm just confused as to there have to be a lot of things going right with this relationship for him to, to go down there and continue going down there. This isn't a one-time thing now. It's been happening for a while. What, this whole week? Every day since, I don't know how long it's been that he's been doing this, but this is, uh, there's a problem here, man. There's a problem.